climate change is impacting communities across the globe with rising sea level, extreme weather events, disrupted economies, amongst others. And efforts to mitigate climate change and achieve sustainable development brought this gathering as stakeholders met to discuss and review the draft Evergreen Roadmap to make it inclusive with national ownership when validated. The Evergreen Action Plan, according to officials, will offer a comprehensive program that catalyzes trillions in investment over the next decade into clean energy technology, new infrastructure and climate solutions. Importantly, the session will help participants to describe the Gambia's nationally determined contributions on battling climate change. Abu Bakar Zaidi Jalo, the Deputy Permanent Secretary, Technical Ministry of Environment, noted the timeliness of the meeting. The Gambia was identified in March 2020 as one of 15 countries that could be eligible for funding by the Government of Canada. I'm following many virtual meetings, emails, and a visit to Canada. Um, to pave the way forward, we are now able to hold the first national consultation on the development of the Evergreen Roadmap under our MRV, or Measurement Reporting Verification System, for climate action. This is among many initiatives the country will be deploying to address climate change at national and international levels. Lisa Marroquina from Climate Change Canada, whose mission is to engage with stakeholders and create solutions to climate change and sustainability, said the output of the meeting will help strengthen and establish more efficient and effective climate MRV systems for the Gambia. Well, what we really need is stakeholder feedback, your feedback on what you'd like to see in the roadmap. What does the Gambia need to transition to a low carbon economy? As I said, this is a bottom-up, community-led approach. There is a very wide range of diverse stakeholders in this room, which is really exciting to see. And so from Novosphere, we really look forward to hearing from you all as we go through these next few days. And I hope you all actively participate and provide your input to the program. More than 50 participants from various institutions and organizations who are active in climate and development programs in the Gambia attended the forum. Participants explained their institutional contribution towards climate change. In renewable energy, we have policies and regulatory framework dealing with on-grid uh, uh, renewable energy, also dealing with uh, off-grid applications. For off-grid, we have mini-grid framework. We also have the renewable energy law that provides incentive for uh, renewable energy projects as well as the importation of renewable energy equipment. All these measures help either the public or private sector to be able to implement these this, this, this clean energy projects. We have some of our members who have distributed high-yielding cassava cutting for plantation as a climate resilience crop. So we have some of our people, our organization who has been doing that. And then at the same time, the reservation of some of the forest park. It is expected that at the end of this round table workshop, participants will identify key actors and their roles in achieving Gambia's NDC targets as design and proposed activities within the Evergreen Roadmap that strengthen Gambia's commitment towards the MRV system. Janke Ture, Jatis News.